Hey, what's up everyone? I know I haven't done an app review in a long time, well, an actual worthwhile app review, but um, I'm going to do one for you guys now. Um, this game it has got 4 out of 5 stars in the App Store. It's 8 99 and is called Gangster West Coast Hustle. It's made by Gameloft, which is a very reliable and um, probably the most impressive app developers that I've seen. Uh, they definitely make the best apps that I've played. So, uh, yeah. Definitely a great company. Okay, so it starts off with Gameloft's trusty cutscene, which they have in every single game, or every single app. And it's a really nice cutscene. I'll show you a bit of it now. I'm not going to show you at all. Okay. okay, so I won't ruin what happens there, but that's just a little taste of the cutscene. Okay, and then it just pops into a little um, title screen, I guess. And then you just touch it to continue. And then you have a few options, continue, new, and options. Obviously, I'm just going to go continue. Okay, one thing about this game is because obviously it's a full city, it, it's basically GTA, if anyone likes GTA you will love this game it's basically GTA on the um, iPhone same kind of controls, weapons, style of game basically GTA and um... yeah it's basically GTA like I said and uh... therefore it's a massive city so it does take a long time to load as you can see here but uh... when it gets into it, it runs really smoothly Sorry about this, guys. Okay, so as you see here, there's some pretty nice graphics. They're not amazing, but it is on an iPod Touch and iPhone, so not the best gaming platform. But um, as you can see, it's basically GTA. It's got the same layout. It's got the map at the top left. It's got the health bar, the um, attack, and then the thumb pad. So really GTA inspired. As you see, it's nice when you click on the map, it does come up with a map, you can look around the map. It's got a really simple um, interface, which is good. And, um, as you can see, oh, <laughs> some of the animations are a bit shocking, and, uh, like, I guess it's a pretty, pretty big game, so there are a few issues with it, like, um, poor driving controls, I would personally say. Um, popping, like when you drive at a certain speed, um, it doesn't render as fast as you're driving, so um, objects do pop in the distance and all that kind of stuff, but um, again it is a big game and it is on an iPhone, so I'm not expecting something massive. It's really nice uh, controls, and uh, yeah, it's really easy to play, lots of fun. As you saw there, there was a bit of popping. But um, I don't really know if the driving's that good, like you use the accelerometer and um, so it just, it's not that responsive, it's good, but I don't know, you seem like you're steering too much to turn, which is kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, the really easy controls, I haven't really got much into the game yet, because I just wanted to show you what it's basically like at the start. Um, so yeah, if you guys like GTA all those kinds of games. If you like Game Loft games, then you will love this game because it's another classic Game Loft game. Um, really, really big um, game. There's a lot of playback value for it, and it's a pretty big map considering it's on a <coughs> gaming platform that's not that impressive. Like the Apple Touch and iPhones don't really have amazing processors or RAM or all that stuff, so it's not like they can process really high-end games like other consoles or other gaming platforms but this is probably one of the best that I've seen so I definitely recommend it uh, nine dollars is pretty expensive but for what you're getting I would recommend it for you guys I would probably give it a nine out of ten and uh, definitely check it out if there is a light version check that out first obviously 
Uh, make sure to subscribe, rate, and comment, and thank you for watching.